The IQ Tour Pink was a very sought-after overseas version of the IQ Tour Fusion a few years ago, and since the best balls for Angel usually say IQ on them, we had to have one, and it was this one's turn to get some holes, so we thought we'd share the experience with everyone. Angel's layout is on the screen, the surface prep is her typical 1000 grit finish with Reactiscuff, which gets it to 3000-ish, and to get some necessary details out of the way, Angel is bowling on Kegel Chromium at Royal Crest Lanes in Lawrence, Kansas like we always do, and to shorten the monologue, please just check the description. The lane graph is linked, as well as instructional videos to explain layout numbers and core numbers and how all that works if you don't understand those, and there are all kinds of discount codes and links down there. Also, if you join my Patreon and link to Discord, we have the best bowling community on the interwebs with more support and coaching and fun going on there than you could possibly imagine. But if you're not interested in all that, you could also just join as a YouTube member and get all my videos ad-free for 5 bucks a month with some extras in there as well. The details are very simple on this one. We all know the Centripetal C3 core from the IQ Tour series. Uh, one of the best cores in the history of the company, and it still is kind of the standard for the Tour-style benchmark control ball. 249RG and an 029 differential and 15 pounds, so strong, rolly, and controllable, while the R2S hybrid cover from the original High Road has only been used on this core once stateside, surprisingly, which was the IQ Tour Fusion, which was very popular itself. There have been several other overseas versions, such as the IQ Tour Rising, which she also had for a couple years and which has run its course, but this one is pink, and we really all know what that means now. I think it's very easy to see why this general type of reaction matches up to Angel. It's a very strong rolling ball that really stabilizes well in the mid lane, but then doesn't break loose or jump down lane. This is the whole point of the low RG, low differential, medium strength cover type of ball. Lots of control, lots of stability, no bells or whistles, just consistent predictable ball reaction. Now, while ball designs like this typically favor higher rev rates because the bowler provides plenty of ball reaction themselves, they don't need a more dynamic ball reaction doing it for them, you can still see the obvious benefit for someone with kind of typical bowler specs. Medium revs, a medium ball speed, and while you might think, okay, you want a stronger type of ball to help you out in the power department, what you ultimately want is a predictable path to the pocket. Sometimes stronger balls make you open your angles up to get the ball down the lane, but with a lower rev rate, moving deeper on the lane can really reduce your hit at the pins and the ability to get the ball through the pins the correct way to carry. Sometimes a weaker, smoother ball allows you to keep your angles straighter so that you can have an easier and more favorable path to the pocket. All she really has to do here is put a nice easy roll on it, uh, giving it a little bit of room and letting it walk right in. The joke with IQs is that they're good at getting 9, but if you have a lower rev rate, you're used to getting 9 a lot anyway most of the time, and having something that you can hit the pocket with every time rather than trying to chase strikes at the risk of more opens can ultimately be the most beneficial way to go. We're going to chain another teaser in here like we did with the White Hot Badger video. This is the Sword Nano X, which is an overseas series that uses the IQ Tour Core. But the cover, of course, on this one is NRG Solid, basically making this an IQ Tour Nano reskin, which was yet another very popular stateside IQ Tour line release. Same layout and cover prep, and you can see that this one is earlier and stronger. The NRG Solid cover is a fair amount more than R2S, so she's a few boards deeper. Uh, the ball is picking up earlier on the lane and then finishing with about the same reaction on the back end. Again, these type of balls work great for her because she's also got medium speed, which gives the ball time to rev up and finish. Now, if you have higher speed and lower revs, then naturally you would want something stronger and more dynamic because the ball won't have as much time to pick up and move for you as it does for Angel. You'll also get to see this ball in its own video coming soon. Once again, please hit the description. Like I said, too many links and codes to keep dragging out every video with. Bowler's Mart link, cool wick discount code, Nexus Backpack V2 discount link, lane condition, layout and core videos, Patreon, Discord, all of it. Thanks for watching and may the strikes be with you.